What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new player review on the channel and a new team of the week has been released. Let's be honest, team of the week is kind of dead at the minute, so I'm not expecting these reviews to be the most popular, but there are some interesting cards in this week's team of the, uh, team of the week. And it is Alexander Sorloff. He looks fantastic. He's six foot five, 87 rated, and got some amazing stats. High medium work rates, four star scum with four star wink foot, length, acceleration type, and is left footed. And he's only 24k, so if you're winning like a La Liga kind of team and you start an RTG and you want like a good, well, I don't know if he's good, but like a, a good looking, strong, tall player, he's your guy. He can play striker or centre forward, and like I say, he's La Liga with a Raya Real. So, yeah, very, very interesting card. Look at his attributes 84 acceleration and a 95 sprint speed. So, Bit of a split there, but he's still very, very fast. He could definitely finish with that 86 tackle positioning, 90 finishing, 91 shot power, with good long shots, volleys, and penalties. Passing, which for me, this guy screws out to be a target man, so passing's not really kind of up there for me, what you need to use from him, but he's got 83 vision, 84 short passing, and 84 curve, kind of the higher end stats for that category. Dribbling as well, agility and balance is very poor, but like for me, for using tall, kind of strong cards, you don't really need agility and balance. He is more to get, end of, end of, get on the end of crosses, be a nuisance, and kind of bring other players into the game. He's got very good reactions, ball, co ball control, dribbling, and composure, though. Defending's pretty poor, apart from here are his physicals, which make this card incredible. 99 heading accuracy, 99 jumping, 90 stamina, 98 strength, 81 aggression. At 6 foot 5, he could be the best Norwegian on the game. And we've got Haaland. Like, he looks fantastic. And... To top it off, he's got some amazing play styles. He's got play style plus power shot, which we all know is incredible. He's also got power header at six foot five, amazing. He's got flair, rapid, Travella, and aerial. So he's definitely got the stats to be a all-time great striker. So who knows? And fun fact, I've just noticed he has got the same birthday as me, fifth December the fifth. 1995 that's the exact same date so we are brothers we'll go with that so i'll fit him into my main team well i say main team it's kind of a team kind of mixed around this kind of card um but he's on full chem so look what we'll do we will get in a few games hopefully it's fantastic and the review will be the end so leave a like and subscribe Every night, holding tight, won't let me get out of my bed I might be high, but since last night, nothing feels the same I finally understand, I have no control in the end I miss you, babe, I miss you, babe So, this man, Alexander Solov, is, putting it politely, the pound land Erling Haaland. He is very, very good and very, very cheap compared to Erling Haaland. He's Norwegian, he is very, very strong, very, very fast and can score some great goals. Two games, five goals for me, a mixture of goals. Goals where he scored with his head, goals where he controlled it, used his strength to outmuscle defenders like Cordoba and Lucio, Lucio, sorry. Um, and was just fantastic. Overall, an incredible player. He's only 24k, which will probably be 20k by the time this video comes out. And that is, for me, a bargain. If you're winning like an RTG or 
you're one of these players that like like strong players and you can't afford Haaland, this guy's your man. And he's in a good league, La Liga, there's some good players in there. If you want to link him, you can link him to like Jude Bellingham, players like that. He's just an overall fantastic card. Looking at his stats, my only downfall with him is that 84 acceleration. I think if it was higher and like a sprint speed acceleration were closer together, like 84, 95, a bit of a distance, that's his only issue for me. I feel like once he gets running, he's very good. His actual acceleration isn't fantastic. So you kind of need to get him in space to kind of, if you want to go on a, a run with him. But this card isn't for that. His jumping, his heading, and his strength is what makes, and his finishing and his shot power is what makes it. I scored some great, some headers. I got any under crosses. He was a nuisance. It overall is a fantastic player. So would I recommend getting this card? Absolutely, especially if you're winning like an RTG and you want a tall target man striker, he is your man. So that being said, leave a like and subscribe.